Hey everybody, just reached 100 subscribers. Really, really pumped. Me and Rob are doing a bit of a, a bit of a sweet space, a bit of a giveaway available to all our worldwide subscribers. All you have to do is be subscribed, uh, leave a like on the video and put a comment on one of our videos explaining uh, which one of our videos you like the most and which one you want us to see in the future. We'll be giving away one Crucible of War playmat, as you can see in my screen, and Rob yep. will be giving we'll be away giving two cold foils. One cold foil Kadachi promo and one Romping Club cold foil promo as well. Thanks everyone for watching. Hello everybody and welcome to another special. It's going to be every episode is going to be special at this point. To a Spark of Genius Flesh and Blood production here featuring Rob and Rob's collection. So this is part two of our collection series. Part one was my own collection, which... Is about to get uh, a little on the dwarfed side, but uh, yeah. as I did a bit of a preface earlier that uh, my collection was probably slightly above average, whereas Rob is more of a true collector, as they say. And we will be going through his uh, his accomplishments over the last <laughs> year and yeah, a bit as far as card <laughs> collecting. Yeah, And so I'm going to be joined with, of course, Mr. Rob McGally, my co-commentator. Hello. Co-compatriot, co-caster. I did that in the wrong order, but don't worry about it. Co-collector now. Co <laughs> Am I a collector, really? I guess I guess I'm a little bit of a collector. Um, and we're going to be go over, going over his many binders, and of course, as a reminder, if anyone didn't see the uh, new giveaway sweepstakes we're doing for the holidays, you'll see that on all of our videos for a reminder. So yeah. this video counts. So if you want to comment, like, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, leave a comment. Maybe this video is going to be your favorite video. I don't know. And yeah. So uh, well, with that, Rob, why don't, why don't you start us off? Okay, let's go through some of the binders that I have. Um, okay, it says some. I've got like two. ordered, <laughs> organized a few things. This is a binder I have of uh, Welcome to Wraith and Arcane Rising playables. So uh, mostly majestics and super rares from those mm -hmm. sets. And these are these are on limited War as well. So uh, it depends on the class, and I'll kind of go over that. I did sell quite a few of my non-foil alpha and first ed stuff, but. Uh, for Guardian, it is unlimited, unfortunately. Uh, and the cards that you that you see missing are probably cards that I'm playing with. So, we've got the Guardian stuff, a full set of Majestics and Super Rares, all the way up until Dorinthia. Dorinthia as well is unlimited. Whenever I try to collect, you know, unlimited sets, I try to go for the Rainbow Foils. So I do have uh, a lot of Rainbow Foil sets here, I'm missing these in Rainbow Foil. But uh, moving like on it. into Brute. Brute is. Alpha. So I have not sold this yet, and I don't think I will actually, because uh, I really like playing Brute and collecting the Alpha Alpha Rampage. Kind of has a nice ring to it. So we've got the are, Alpha. Are you gonna are you gonna be able to build a deck with all Alpha Brute cards? I mean, I, I have, <laughs> I have done it. I do have the Unlimited too, though, so we'll see. But uh, Ninja, we have all Alpha. We have the pink strips. I don't know if you guys want to see uh, some pink action, but we've got the pink Ancestral Empowerments uh you know pink oh yeah that give me give me that hd when it yeah. just like zooms in there <laughs> oh my god clean yeah everything for ninja is an alpha we've got um basically alpha the last ditch crazy brews and remembrances are all alpha uh unfortunately unlimited tomes of final unlimited e strikes one of them is foil though so that's pretty nice these are all first ed first ed uh wizard stuff i have not sold any of that First Ed Ranger stuff as well, as we see full full play sets of that. Uh, moving into Mechanologist, my favorite class, of course, everything is Alpha. Uh, well, I should say First Edition for Arcane Rising. Yep. Uh, Viserai, I do not have Alpha slash First Edition of that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, this one is a foil First Edition Spark of oh, Genius. Oh, God. You gotta, can you put that very... a little to the right? Just like sh shove it to your... There we go. There oh, we yeah. That's the and... spot. Very fitting because that's our title name, so I had to have <laughs> to have first edition foil of yep. that. We got the uh, yeah the Viscera stuff. I'm using a lot of Viscera stuff in my current Blitz decks. So that's why you don't see it here. But this is all foil unlimited stuff for Viscera. Uh, moving into non foil um, uh, unlimited stuff. These Art of Wars are first ed. I won't take them out. But uh, I've got also uh, these are first edition foil rusted relics. Uh, these ones, I mean. <laughs> When I was selling a lot of these stuff, uh, these cards earlier on, uh, no one really wanted these. <laughs> they're, they're just stuck in my mind. <laughs> I wouldn't know why. They're not playable. You know, they're, they are three foil first heads, though, so that's kind of nice. Uh, and now we're moving into the Crucible of War stuff. Everything I have for Crucible of War is first edition. Um, I didn't really sell all of that stuff. So we have play sets of the mech stuff, going into ranger stuff, um, and then into... 
<laughs> wizard stuff a little incomplete actually here i may have missing one of the the gazes um into root and blade stuff then we've got brute down here all first head crucible and ninja moving into warrior basically you know play sets of every uh every class in uh, in crucible of war guardian yeah. coax of commotion these are the uh the generic cards and Gorg tomes and oh, i remember when you uh, had point, that rainbow foil gorgonian tome i had a play set of them that i, I actually recently sold uh, the, the first, first dead too. first dead rainbow foil yeah i sold them uh beyond this point here is all of my extras that didn't fit in the play sets these are all just kind of like you know playables that i have extras of that and they're all super rare and, and majestic which is which is nice uh, but most of them are unlimited uh, i do have three extra first edition non-foil um uh induction chambers which is nice uh none foils of course but uh yeah most of this stuff is unlimited so if i do want to play with stuff uh, i'll most likely go in here three foil art of wars that's kind of nice uh more rusted relics because <laughs> why not and some extra crucible stuff here with uh some foil tokens foil rune chance and uh, a foil seismic surge so that rounds out this binder of welcome to wraith arcane and crucible Moving into see that bi that binder alone <laughs> is already quite nice and it only gets yeah. better from here folks we've got now the monarch and tales of aria binder so this one i went ham because i bought a lot of stuff from monarch and tales of aria so i've got actual foil first edition play sets of pretty much everything at this point which i have which i have uh which i've contributed a little bit too thanks which you to have a lot of this for, for just for the viewers to know <laughs> that's right yeah you can contribute to my collection here we can kind of you can live vicariously through me through this, these cards oh, I will. mostly <laughs> so most of these are uh first edition and foil as well um all play sets basically for every class um i do have two non-foil herald, herald of air editions i am missing two foils there uh, as well as uh, the Papa E Strike. I've only got two first edition foils. I am missing one, unfortunately. Um, going into the, oh, the beautiful playset of Exude Confidences in foil, as well as Nourishing Emptiness and Rouse the Ancients. Uh, you know, very playable cards. Uh, now we're going into Tales of Aria first ed. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to kind of go through these. We have the uh, Guardian stuff moving into the Ranger slash Lexi stuff, and then uh, the Briar. Um, including Sting of Sorcery. I think only one of these is foil, though, unfortunately, but I will be looking for more foils of those. Then we got the Elemental package on the left here. We've got the Lightning package. I believe all of the Lightning cards are foil, so three foil blinks. I know you contributed to this, Eric, quite a bit. I think you've sold me all three of those. Those are my blinks. <laughs> those are your blinks. Uh, your blinks now. Your blinks <laughs> yeah, now. Our blinks. <laughs> uh, three Channel Thunder Steps. Um, all the way down to Tome of Harvest and to a playset of first edition you know, pulses. Beyond this, we've got the extras that I don't really have, uh, that weren't, you know, part of the, the play sets. So extra playables, you know, a lot of this actually is unlimited. I, I have opened some unlimited. There's an unlimited arc like Sentinel, but um, I think for the most part, these are also still first edition. But yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much extras of the Majestics. Nothing too interesting here. Um, yeah, cause I, did, I did open a lot of products, so I do have a lot more than just, you know, the, the play sets. Um, right. Yeah, so that rounds out the Monarch and Tales of Aria Majestic slot. I like how you call your binders slots. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a binder that I recently put together, actually. Um, I used to have all of these cards in just, like, piles. <laughs> so I really wanted to get these organized. These are the cold foil commons slash rares. Um that I have, I'm gonna try to get a binder full of these. Uh, but from from what I have right now, I have a full set of Monarch um, cold foils up until the Stubby Hammers. Then we've got a full set of Tales of Aria cold foil commons um, up until the Deep Blue. And beyond that, we have all the extras. So I've got quite a few extra cold foils for Monarch here. Uh, I think I have at least like 30 or so of those. And then into the Tales of Aria ones, I've got all of these extras beyond the, the initial set of, of 10, I believe. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, I'm still collecting these. I think that these are, you know, great for collecting uh, more Monarch stuff here. Um, you know, I eventually mm -hmm. want to fill this entire binder with cold foils and comments. So <laughs> you will. I'll be, eventually I will. Once the next set comes out, I'll put some more in there. And I'll still buy some more Tales of Aria and Monarch stuff. This is true. All right. Here is a 
big one. This is the, the granddaddy of my binders. This is the promo binder. So people who know me know that I love to collect promos. I often have buying posts for the Armory promos. And I know a few people who like always contact me when they have new stuff. I know Nia is one of them. So they always kind of, you know, uh, they know that I love collecting them and they offer me great Same. prices and I'm happy to, to pay them. So uh, starting off with all of the Armory uh, full art promos we've got blessing of deliverances from way back when these were i think when this game first came out in canada actually um these were from the the uh, armory events next we've got the iron song responses and a lot of these are actually non-foil as well which are rarer than the the foil variants they mm -hmm. did come out earlier um moving into ninja with gust a uh, whelming gust wave and wrecker romp for reiner so that rounds out the first four welcome to wraith heroes moving into arcane rising we have overloops Going into Sikkim Shots, Reduce to Rune Chance, and a bunch of Voltic Bolts. That rounds out Arcane Rising. Now we go into Monarch. We have only uh, only 10 of these. I kind of maybe want to pick up a few more of the Dusk Paths. They're not really great, though, so I'm not sure. But we've got the uh, Phantasmifies all over here. I've got a lot of pulping. I know that, Eric, you sold me quite a few pulpings uh in the I, uh, I, pul I pulped uh, i pulped through my own binder to provide some pulpings <laughs> yeah it's a lot of pulpings from eric we've got a ton of vexing malices i think i have the most of uh, vexing malices are the most of any of the promos i have i think uh and then Fair. now rounding into the tales of aria promos we've got polar blasts over here Quite a few of those actually also i lose track of how much i buy also so they're just kind of just going into the binder and then it's kind of fun to look back uh we've got the weave lightnings and then finally all of the burgeonings from briar's kit and two invigorates <laughs> we, i only got two of those from the uh, i believe the skirmish season uh, season three so we'll be looking for for more of those these aren't promos but i do have rainbow foil first edition heroes from crucible of war here uh kind of felt like it fit uh we have benji ira rainbow foil two ko's we got the data doll here trying to avoid the glare a bit We've got mm -hmm. Dean and Kasai as the Rainbow Foil Young Heroes from Crucible of War. Next, moving into the full uh, full art, the uh, adult versions of the heroes in Rainbow Foil. We have a uh, Dorinthia, very beautiful card. We've got Bravo, Reinar, and Katsu, one of each of the Welcome to Wraith. We then have mm -hmm. uh, Dash, two Azaleas, uh, three Viscerize, and I believe two Kanos to round out Arcane Rising, uh, full art Rain... I keep saying full art. Adult rainbow foil heroes. Uh, then we have one Close of enough. each of the... Yeah, they're kind of like full form. <laughs> Final form. Yeah, uh, we've Final got form. Prism, Bolton, Levia, and Chain as well in the uh, you know the rainbow foil adult version. And then I went kind of ham on Tales of Ari. <laughs> we have eight Briars. These were really cheap, so I kind of you know just picked up as many as I could. Uh, we've got six old hymns. And we've got a bunch of Lexies as well. I believe that was 10, if I'm not mistaken. We've got some mm. of the Blasma Fit and Ursa tokens um, over here in Rainbow Foil. And then finally, we're going into some of the Cold Foil weapon promos that were awarded. We're, getting, for, we're uh, coming in hot here. Buy a box. Yeah, these are more of the bigger hitters. Uh, we've got Dawnblade, Anothos, Romping Clubs, and Five Kadachis. Those are the Welcome to Wraith ones. We then have two Nebula Blades, Death Dealers... I was buying a bunch of pistols. <laughs> Playing Dash, I was like, give me all your cold foil pistols. <laughs> I, I bought quite a few of these. I got the Crystal of Ether Weave. And then moving into Monarch, we have Ravaging Meat Axes. We've got Irises of Reality, a bunch of Galaxy Blacks, uh, all in cold foil. Uh, we've got Hatchets of Mind and Body, as well as uh, the Aria stuff. We've got two Shivers, a bunch of Titan's Fists over here. And Rosetta Thorns, uh, you know, very expensive to, to buy you know re up until recently so i only have two of those mm -hmm. uh did win one and bought one and then we have a few of the amulets that were given during the pre-release events uh, i believe i have two of each or so looks like it yeah we've got some alt art uh promos we have the stir the wildwood uh from team covenant and we have three of the Mar uh, boneyard marauders from team covenant as well next we have some of the cold foils from the road to nationals we have uh, a play set of the um I guess Prism, the Prism Aura kit, kind of. Uh, and then we have One mm. X Show to Wrath. Uh, these are full art content creation, uh, content creator uh, promos, I believe, that were uh, given out they by were. RSS to content creators. So that was nice. It wasn't 
you know, to us directly. <laughs> Maybe eventually. But you no, know, um, <laughs> if if they want to send us some to give away, we we're more than happy to do that. That's right. We will not say no. I really uh, do like. I just want to note. I really do yeah. like those code foil. Um, these auras. parables and yeah, I auras really really love the foiling. Yeah, on I those remember auras. when these first came out. I think Saint had a video. I think they were gift gifted to him. Like they were so nice. I'm really happy that LSS decided to make these more widely um you know re excellent. received or, excellent choice yeah all oh, these are beautiful i mean the, the foiling on these they chose really the, the so right nice. stuff to accentuate here's ode to wrath maybe see if i can oh my uh, god show like, like they're not particularly expensive but they're just like really about nice 30, cards 30, 40 too. bucks but like they're beautiful yeah. they look kind of like old murals like in kind they of like do. old you know, like uh, maybe egyptian or i don't know but um they look so nice Man, or greek i was thinking more, like, more greek but yeah we're such we're such nerds. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Our continue. artwork is an important part of every game. So it is. We then have uh, we have foil head jab promos from Skirmish Season One. These were um, kind of hard to find. A lot of the places were running events online. They didn't really ship the prizes because uh, they were given by LSS. So LSS was shipping the Cold Foil Hero prizes, and the head jabs were sent to the stores, and the stores didn't really send them out. So I only managed to get two. Uh, they're they're relatively rare, uh, and then we just have. Uh, yeah, two lonely dust pack pil pilgrimage at the end there. I just didn't put it back to where it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, that is the promo binder. So a binder that is almost full. Um, I do have a second binder that I'm going to fill up as well <laughs> for the next set of promos. Um, let's promos are nice because it like accentuates like the history, right? Yeah, like exactly. you started with like you're welcome to Wraith, your Ark, and then you're moving into like the cold foil ones. Yeah. They never used to have, and they've given it away at different uh, junctures, right? Buy a boxes. Mm -hmm. Armories. So I like the I like the progression. You know yeah. what I mean? I really like the, nice the way they're. Oh my god! Sorry, you just flow. you gave you gave me you I gave me a bit of a heart palpitation there. Sorry. <laughs> you just. Uh, I'm just gonna. Let's calm go into some of bit. the the nicer cards I pulled from Tales of Aria. Most of these were pulled by myself. Uh, although I did I did buy quite a few of these as well. We've got uh, <laughs> starting big. We got three Corsions. I pulled two of these and bought one of them. We've got. Rampart of the Ram's Head. We've got two Heart of Ice. These are all cold foils from, from first edition. We've got, now, I, I actually pulled, I think, all three of these. <laughs> three Crown of Seeds. We've got two Spellbound Creepers. One New Horizon. One Shock Charmer. So that rounds out the uh, Legendary set, I believe. And then we have a few of the Majestic cold foils. So we've got two Pulse of Volt Haven. Two Eisenlofts. One Candle Hold. I only have one of the alt art channel lake frigids uh very beautiful card i wish i pulled more but um maybe i'll buy a few more when the time comes and then we've got some weapons we've got voltaire we've got two band blades dust blade we've got three winter's whale as well and that rounds out the uh basically majestic and up cold foil set for uh for tales of aria I really like the preference on the Winter's Whale, Mr. Olden player. That's right. Ah, I love Olden. <laughs> if I could wield three hammers, I would. Maybe not. Same. <laughs> if they had go again. <laughs> Imagine who... <laughs> Should make it cost one, deal two damage with Frostbites, and just wield three of them with go again. Make it happen. Okay, that was Tales of Aria. Next, we're going into one of the bigger sets I have. This is the set of Monarch Cold Foils and Full Arts. Um, mm -hmm. so let's jump right into that. We got one library of Solana, not three, fortunately. Didn't pull more than one. <laughs> We've got two footsteps. We've got three Valiant Dynamos. And we've got quite a few of these. We've got five Vestige of Soul. We then have, I believe, three Carrion Husks. I kind of went a little ham. I opened a lot of Monarch and actually bought quite a bit from uh, from people's collections. We've got four, four Eclipses, and I believe we have five Doomsdays from this set. I've only got one Altart Galaxy Black, but this is a really beautiful card. I I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it when it came out. It's a like, very nice Altart. Yeah, it was, it was a thousand bucks when it came out, and I was like, ah, uh, maybe mm -hmm. even more, like thirteen hundred or so. But that's when Monarch was. Did you? Uh... You you bought you yeah. bought that one right? I bought this for five hundred, I believe. So That's more expensive price. than it is right now, but um, you know back then that was a steal, so I couldn't say no to that. And I was missing it for the collection, so I uh, figured why not. We've got three cold foil dread scythes. We got one lonely raiden. We've got four hexagors cold foil. Uh, one lonely luminaris. I actually um, did not pull one of these, so I had to buy it. Next we've got 
yeah, kind of, this is kind of a lot. We've got, we've got seven full art Mark of the Beast. I just couldn't stop buying these. So it's a lot of marks. It's a lot of marks. If I could run all of them, I would. Then we've got two Herald of Erudition and one full art Luminous Engine for the the full art uh, Majestics from Monarch. And these are these are relatively cheap now. They're like a hundred dollars. So I I think they might be undervalued right now. It's my personal opinion. Um, I think so too. They're not that easy to pull. No, they're 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 rare. Um, rarer than legendaries. So. Most legendaries are in the hundred dollar range right now, so, but but still, um, I feel yeah. Like I think the cold foil, yeah, good. the cold foil legendaries that are armor, I think, are hovering around Canadian dollars at least two fifty ish, give or take. Yeah, I believe the uh, Carrion um, Husk is sitting around there. Um, the Dynamo, no, Dynamo is probably no, like not not Dynamo, no, no, sorry. Yeah. I think the Footsteps probably like two hundred maybe. Oh, Footsteps is a good three hundred. It's the most expensive one of the. Oh, that one. Right? Okay. Yeah. No, I haven't been that, that Clearly, I haven't been that much. But uh, yeah. but you are right about the Husk, and I believe Vestige is hitting around two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Next, we've got some Crucible of War stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have much of this. Uh, I, I did sell a lot of it when, when the prices first jumped, but now I'm kind of back in the business of buying these again. So we've got Cold rare. Foil, Common, uh, or I should say Rare, Anvilheim. We've got um, very beautiful Cold Foil, Talishar. And we've got a Cold Foil, Reverse, Kodachi. The only way to get both Kodachis in the uh, different you know facing directions is to have Crucible of War first edition ones. So this is the only way to mm -hmm. do it. Uh, we've got a now we've got the set of um, cold foil majestics coming up here. I am missing one of them, which is the crater fist. We've got skullhorn, blood sheath, gambler's gloves, physiotronic, a beautiful courage of blade hold. I absolutely love this card. I'm sad I sold my original one, sold it for four fifty, bought it back for like a thousand. <laughs> uh, feels yeah, bad. I sold. I sold. Uh, I think I had two, sold them both, but yeah. when I had them, very beautiful card. Oh, it's a gorgeous card. And we have one full art Twinning Blade. I'll just show that one off. Um, I love how this looks like a poker card almost. Or like a this is an card. underrated card This is a in terms of value, beautiful card. in my opinion. I this is a so very, too. very rare card. It is really hard to pull. Um, like $1,000. Well, I think it's hitting. You're going to grade that too, right? Um, I, I was thinking about it. I really Maybe with PCG. I might send a lot of these things mm. to PCG actually instead of BGS right now. Um, shout out to PCG. Shout out to PCG. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe we'll do a video where we uh, we'll definitely do a video where we look we'll definitely at, do one. Um, you know what, what the grading looks like, what the cases look like, and kind of what our right. expectations are in, in terms of grades look like versus what we actually get. Kind of what we did recently with BGS. So we want to kind of you know look at their their service a bit more uh, under scrutiny and see you know how how well they do. Um, I I would love to get a full set of Crucible cards with PCG cases, mm -hmm. given how cheap it is to to send things now. Um, yeah, I would love to do that. So yeah, that for now, hopefully, cool. hopefully for longer. But yeah, for now, yeah. definitely it's a cheaper option. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, so that was Crucible. I am missing again, as I mentioned, the Crater's Fist. So I am looking to buy that actively. Uh, next, we've got Keyword some Keyword more... active. Yeah, actively. Yeah. There's a lot of things I want to buy, but this one I've got at the top of my list, I think. So here we have Fair. some more like ad hoc slash miscellaneous promos. We've got... Uh, three... Ad hoc, I love it. Ad hoc promos. <laughs> A la carte, <laughs> three a la crazy carte. brews. Here we got some really nice ones. These are the potion, the cold foil potions. Uh, they did not come up for sale much at all. Um, this one is very faint though, unfortunately, but the other ones do pop a little better. This is the time snap potion. Um, very beautiful. I believe the full set probably runs for about like $700 to $1,000 right now. Um, I have one judge promo, the Herald of Judgment. Very fitting name for a judge promo, I think. Uh, this is a very hard card to find. It is about a hundred bucks, I think. So, I really yeah, not a coincidence. One. No, not a coincidence at all. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> we got one go bananas, which usually kind of came hand in hand with the promo, uh, the potion promos. I believe this was like a set of four cards here, and we've got one cold foil each of the um, Urser and Blasma Fit from the Armory kits. These are kind of more like miscellaneous promos that I have. Um, I am looking to buy the new judge promos once they come out. Since I am not mm. a judge and I have to buy them. <laughs> Fair. I should become a judge just for easy access to promos. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't cancel us. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am kidding. Here we have Cold Foil Young Heroes. Um, starting out with the Crucible Armory kits. We have Kasai. We've got two of those. We've got uh, I believe three lovely data dolls in cold foil. We've got three Benjis. We've got 
two Cavdane, and I have, whoops, I've got four KOs. Next, moving into the, I believe, Skirmish Season 2 promos, we have mm -hmm. Cold Foil Prisms. Let's show this up here. Prism, I mean, anything with a like, gold border, like light slash Dorinthia, um, you know, really, really nice. Prism, we've got, I believe, three Boltons. Uh, Levia, we actually went a little more hand than the other ones. We have, how many do we have? We have four Levia. She is the cheapest one, so I, I figured, like, you know, buying them for like 50 bucks, you know, pretty good. Uh, True. We've got three chains, two Lexis and a Briar. Uh, I am missing an old him. I did buy one and it's on the way. I just couldn't get it in time mm. for this video, but I do have one old him in the mail. And that rounds out, I believe, all of the Cold Foil Young Heroes. Uh, besides one, which I will show later, you're probably, uh, you're probably trying to guess what it is. Uh, you probably know what it is. <laughs> I think I do. I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to show that one later on. But that is all the mm -hmm. cold foil young heroes that I have for now. Put these to the side. And moving right along, we have the adult heroes. We have one Lexi, one Briar, and one Ultim. I don't really have many duplicates of these because they're more on the expensive side. Um, I usually have to like pay top dollar to get these. I know at, at the Nationals I paid, uh, I believe you mentioned this was your, I think this is yours, right, Eric? The, That's, the that was my, uh, that was sure my Nationals is, uh, cold him, yeah. I think this might be Nia's cold foil Lexi. And it one, be, one of the yeah. roommates that I had at Nationals uh, sold me the Briar as well for, I think, $200. So, you know, I do pay, um, I guess, I guess pretty competitively for these, I suppose, because uh, they're a bit more expensive. But we do have um, a full set here of Cold Foil Monarch Heroes. I'll just show those up here. These were from the skirm yep. uh, not Skirmish, the uh, Road, to Road, Road to Nats, exactly. Yeah. So these were also running at about $150 to $200 each at the time. I think Prism was like $200. Mm -hmm. Now we've got some of the Skirmish Season 1 promos, which uh, I love. Here is the Dorinthia. Beautiful. Oh, order. that's a nice one. Probably the nice. Oh. It is the most expensive of the cold. That one. Oil. That one went for like a like a grand, I think, or something. It, like, it's something still like about a grand. Nice. I would say it's probably hovering between nine hundred to a grand right now. Uh, we've mm. got we've got two of them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, not I bad. Think I, I think I won one in the skirmish or something, and then just decided to keep it. We've got one Katsu, one Bravo, and we've got two Reiner. So same situation. I had two. I might be looking to sell my duplicates, but uh, you know, for now, I'm just kind of holding on to them. Uh, yeah. We've got one Viscerai, one Azalea, one Kano, and one Dash. So that, I believe, rounds out all of the adult Cold Foil heroes. Right. Yeah. Any of these that you're looking to grade? Yeah, with PCG, I think, eventually. I, I'm going to yeah. wait for these. I don't think they're all in great condition, to be honest, because they're promos and they kind of came, like, uh, you know, in their <laughs> in their baggies. And so oh, a, I know. a lot of them were kind of um, not great. So I might have to revise or at least give these a little glance over before deciding mm -hmm. to spend like 50 bucks a card uh, at PCG at least. So uh, those are the cold foil adult heroes. I've got some right. other uh, pretty special ones that don't see the light of day very much. Um, this but is they the, will for this channel. They will for this channel. So hopefully you guys learned something if you didn't know uh, about these promos or if they existed at all. We have the rainbow foil Dorinthia. Love this promo. I am very happy with this one. Full art Dorinthia in rainbow foil. Uh, apparently nice. only given out in New Zealand. So uh, if you haven't seen this, you know, don't worry. They they don't really surface for sale much in Canada or the U.S. So we've got a full set um, of the Welcome to Wraith ones. So we have the Bravo as well. We got we got Katsu. This one's kind of nice. I like I like the blue. The blue looks really good. Yeah, the, the color scheme is really, really nice on the young yeah. heroes. Yeah, exactly. And we got a Reinar rainbow foil. Next, we have the arcane ones. We have rainbow foil, young Kano. These ones are less rare than the Welcome to Wraith ones because they did come out from, like, they came from Rudy's kit, um, I guess, almost a year ago now. I forget. <laughs> Time flies uh, during the pandemic, but uh, it's been a while. Um, mm -hmm. So you did get one per kit. Uh, from Rudy, so these are hovering around like 150 to 200 bucks. Uh, while the Welcome to Wraith ones are like, I mean, Dorinthia is being currently like bought for like two thousand uh, dollars. People are have posts, I don't even know if they're finding them, but they're willing to buy for two thousand uh, dollars. So, a very rare card. We got Azalea, and finally, we've got my girl Dash. 
My bay. My bay. Best bay. All right. Best bay. Best bay. So those are the Welcome to Wraith and Arcane Young Heroes. Very hard um, set to complete. Next. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had to pay. I think I paid 500 each for the Welcome to Wraith ones, which was, you know. Nope. Uh, Sounds about right. Back then was, you know, uh, it was a lot of money. But and I bought these before they even came out or before the game came out in Canada, actually, from a seller from the States uh, who had a connection to New Zealand. So he was kind of my liaison to get some really nice promos. But, you know, now now they're worth more than that. Um, let's go into some sealed stuff before I go into the other uh, singles that are really big hitters. Um I have here a set of decks. These are all sealed. These are the initial um, four decks. You can see they're still in their in their wrapper here and in the inside the box. Oh man, they're all still sealed. Too. They're all still sealed. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I uh, mm -mm. I had when I first started playing this game, I had bought I believe a case of these. You know the the, the display case which has eight decks as part of it. And I opened uh, four of them just to play <laughs> with, with my wife and I. I decided to keep these because they're really nice. They're really nice boxes too, like really high quality. So I wanted to keep these just for my display. And they look really good on, on the shelf. Um, so yeah. we got one of each of the Welcome to Wraith ones. But we also do have still <laughs> one sealed display of them. <laughs> so here are the uh, eight heroes. This came from Rudy's kit when he first launched yeah. the game. You got one of these, plus I believe two alpha boxes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, right. So these run for about, I don't know, $800, something like that, if you want to pick up one of these. Um, the decks individually are still like $50 to $5,200, so um, a pack of eight sealed is uh, has a little bit of a premium on that. Um, so yeah, one sealed display of the hero decks. Next we have one sealed Crucible of War first edition box not sure where the first edition tag is oh, all the way up here um this one's probably yeah, there a thousand yeah. canadian you know roughly uh and my goal is yeah. to keep you know one box of first edition for every set that comes out i buy you know x amount of cases and i open everything except for the one box that i want to keep in a, a nice display it makes for a really nice uh kind of showcase up here on my shelf <laughs> so we go yeah a nice his history showcase yeah, too it's kind of like a progression of the sets as they came out uh going back in time though we now have a arcane rising first edition box uh this one is worth about i believe canadian probably three thousand dollars at this point um got a little bit of a tear up here though very sad about nah, that but don't worry about it most of them have that what i ended up doing is when i when i was buying the stuff to open up i was trying to like keep the nicest ones to seal so they are actually mm -hmm. in really good condition like corner wise and like cellophane uh wise except for you know this opening but a lot of them when they shipped you know from new zealand to you know the states to me um they they ended up getting banged up in the mail so only yeah. a few survived a few of the good ones and as you might have guessed we have one box of alpha welcome to wraith this is the big daddy of sealed boxes for for welcome the to granddaddy wraith. the yeah the og granddaddy boxes that i used to just open up and <laughs> just for the just for the fun of it now become way too expensive to open i don't think i'll ever be opening these these are gonna just go on unless shelf. we get one of the raffle ones um that is but, true. Uh, LSS, LSS giving away, is yeah. giving away, uh, I believe, four of these. Uh, one case, yeah, one box it's one for. Case. Yeah. So three for regions for individuals and one for a store. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, really happy to have this. This is probably the really the cornerstone of my skilled collection. Uh, without this, everything just everything else falls apart. <laughs> so really happy to have this. Um, that's all I wanted to show for the sealed stuff. Now let's go into some of the miscellaneous stuff. Actually, we do have. <laughs> I, I took this down from my wall, but I do have one of each of the uh, cold, not cold foil, but the foil promo. The foil posters, yeah. Posters that were given out in the retailer's appreciation kit. So nice. Kit. This, I can show oh maybe one of this camera here, but these are really nice oh posters. Oh my god. They couldn't get the crease out, unfortunately, because they come folded in the box. Doesn't matter. But Doesn't you know matter. what? Uh, this is a very nice... It's funny, the poster has more foiling than the cold foil heroes do. <laughs> they really need to yeah, add cold so... foiling on the body, you know, of the... Of I just the... love that this was in the appreciation kit. It's Yeah, it's such a nice... That, that appreciation kit box is such high quality. Like, they really took care of the stores. They really appreciated it. <laughs> they really appreciated the stores and really showed their appreciation. So, uh, I, I love all of, like, that kind of stuff that LSS produces. Like, all of the mm -hmm. posters slash... Um, even like the book is so nice. 
they, they really put it's a lot true. of care into their into their products um mm -hmm. i believe that's all i wanted to show for me yeah i have the other ones over here they're all hanging on the wall behind me i just don't want to take them all down uh i don't no, IRS. just just take Iris his word for it here. <laughs> yeah yeah Iris is just chilling <laughs> you gotta trust me on that i don't want to take them down um all right let's look at some of my I guess higher end stuff, some of the graded stuff that I recently got back. If you watched the uh, the BGS video, um, I do actually. Before I go into that, I do have a one of a kind cold foil tunic. I'll bring it up here. This one was signed by CEO of Legend Story Studios, James White, um, in in gold sharpie <laughs> on, the, on the cold foil. It wasn't the, me who the got immortal. this signed. Yeah, that's right. I, I really hope to get this graded or at least authenticated um, soon. My my thought is to send it to PCG because they they do have ties with um, with LSS. I mean they 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 are close. They work closely with the Fab scene, so they might be able to help me out get this authenticated. Uh, BGS wasn't able to. I did send this in. They sent it back. To, they didn't charge me though. They sent it back to me saying like, yeah, we we can't authenticate this. This is inconclusive. They probably just don't have. Um, the James White that we know in their database. They have four other yeah. ones, but not the right ones, unfortunately. <laughs> Wrong one. Got it. It's so hard to get information from BGS. You send them an email. They don't get back to you. It's like, hey, I want to authenticate this card. Do you have this in your database? No reply. Send it in. Waste money shipping. Uh, anyway, but it is what it is. I, I'm i probably going to send this to PCG eventually. So I want it in a case because it is a one of a kind, apparently. Fair uh, enough. Next, for some of the graded stuff, we have a BGS9 Arknight Shard. I used to have a 10. <laughs> Sold that off, though, uh, to be able to afford more stuff. Didn't really feel comfortable keeping a card that valuable, I think. Um, yeah, fair and enough. I was very happy to, to sell it off. So we've got Arknight Shard, BGS9. We've got a Shiana BGS9. And both of these cards had three 9.5 subgrades and one 8.5. They're very close to 9.5. It's very sad. BGS in their corners, you know, am I right? We've got a cold foil eye of Aphidia in BGS oh, 9. Man. This Such one, a nice card. one of the big haters on my collection for sure. Yeah. Uh, I graded this one myself. I bought it raw and then sent it in. I bought it raw with like terrible centering though, as you can see. <laughs> the bottom is like twice as thick as the top there. Um, I was worried this was going to get like an 8.5 overall because of the centering, but the centering got 8.5, so I got a 9 on this. Uh, so very happy. Uh, you know, you want nine minimum pretty much uh, when you grade. Mm -hmm. Next, we've got the missing cold foil hero that I was alluding to earlier. This is the Ira cold foil, um, I guess, welcome hero, uh, welcome promo. Yep. You got this for attending the Learn to Play events. And a lot of stores, I won't say a lot, but some stores in Canada got these to give out. Little did they know, these are very expensive cards. Uh, they were out before it came to Canada, so people who participated in these events kind of knew that there was like some real value there. So a lot of them kind of flocked to these events to try to get them. Uh, but yeah, really happy this came back as a nine point five. Um, one of the favorite, my favorite cards, you know, that I own. So really happy about that. Next, we've got a Brave Forge Bracers in nine point five. Very beautiful card. A Mask of Momentum. So going through like the Welcome to Wraith legendaries in 9.5. We've got a Skullbone Cross Wrap in BGS 9.5. I'll just separate these a little bit here so we can keep track of uh, where they belong. Let me move the kind of more miscellaneous ones out of the way. We've got Welcome to Wraith up here in Arcane Rising top right. Here we have the 9.5 Grasp. Uh, really beautiful card. Really, you know playable card i'm not gonna play with this one but the grasp in general is a very playable uh, legendary we've got uh a very big hitter uh, apparently this is the highest grade that this card has ever received at bgs this is a 9.5 quad plus plus one subgrade away from a 10 which would have been fantastic but this is currently the highest graded one according to the bgs pop report yeah we were we were psyched when we, were, it was we the first did that card video we, we saw them yeah <laughs> that so was crazy did Man, not expect to heart. get something close Got the juices spend. flowing. Oh, yeah. Here we have a BGS9 Arcanite Skullcap. I believe the corners, yet again, three nine fives and one 8.5 on corners. Very sad. Very close to a 9.5, but, you know, we'll take it. And we've got the last arc legendary, a cold, uh, cold foil Storm Striders here. Again, got a 9. Very unfortunate, but... Maybe eventually I'll upgrade to 9.5s, but you know, for now, I'm very happy with these. And these are cards that I've owned for a long time. I I pulled quite a few of these myself, as well as bought them when they were like a few hundred dollars um, back when the game was still taking off. 
So really happy just to kind of keep these as like, you know, sentimental pieces more than anything. Mm. Uh, here is the tectonic plating that I've opened myself. Hold nine. The big, big hitter legendary final spring tunic here. Um, when I first pulled this myself, it was like $300 and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. The box was a hundred bucks. Got a $300 card, you know, hey, made some value back, but little did I, little did I know it would be one of the most valuable cards in the game. Fair enough. And finally, we've got scab skin leathers in BGS9, cold foil. Um, yeah, really good subgrades. Two tens and a 9.5. Just unfortunately, the corners, yeah. Unfortunately, Brings BGS just does not like fab corners. I mean, no one likes fab corners, let's be honest, but <laughs> BGS is especially critical uh, on those fab corners. And with that, that I believe sense. we have rounded out the at least the bulk of my collection. So, well, that was a that was a journey right there. Hopefully, everybody could really get a nice glimpse of the, just the history of Fab, just between my own collection and Rob's collection. We've we, we've shown a really big portion. I mean, of course, both of us are are missing cards, but to, yeah, to that point, I think it's namely the uh, heart of uh, heart of fine. Maybe the heart of fine. <laughs> some kind of promos here yeah. and there, like the out the this TC scar stuff like I that. I would love but, to own one of those, but yeah, I think overall. It's given a good kind of glimpse into the world of Flesh and Blood since it's been started, especially those foil posters. I mean, those those, those are gorgeous, yeah. if I do say so myself. And so I hope everybody enjoyed our two-parter our two -parter series. And then if you like this video, and feel free to like, comment, subscribe, of course, for the sweepstakes uh, giveaway. And with that, uh, appreciate everyone watching and see everyone in the next video. Yeah, see you next time.